I wanted to know if this cheap $300 Vivor could survive running a load off grid on solar alone. No battery, no grid. So I hooked it up to a real load and let it run to see whether it would recover on its own or completely fail. I also wanted to give a shout out to Ken over at the High Voltage Homestead channel. If any of you guys are thinking about doing 48 volt mining systems at scale, that would be the channel to check out. You can see what's really involved. And what it is, it's big wires, big bus bars, and big batteries. So go ahead and check him out. I'll put the link down below. He's a wealth of knowledge over there. Okay. Looks like the hot water tank is fully heated up. It's showing 30 some watts there. That's just the idle draw. I'm going to open up the valve on the hot water tank, let some hot water out, and let's see what happens when that heating element kicks back in. Water on. See what the water feels like. Oh yeah, that's nice hot water coming out of there. Man, I'll have to take a bath in this thing. <laughs> wonder how long that's going to take. There should be plenty of solar right now. Actually, that's, that's PV watts. What is the... Um... Hundred twenty watts. Hmm. That transformer's drawing quite a bit of juice there. There, it just kicked in 1.34 kilowatts. Wonder what the PV watts are now. 1.47 kilowatts coming from the PV. 232 volts out from the inverter. Okay, I'm going to shut the hot water off again. So as long as we have enough solar coming in, this setup seems to work all right. All right, so here's the takeaway from all this. The whole point of this test wasn't really about heating water. It was just an easy, repeatable load. What I really wanted to see was how this cheap V4 inverter behaves when you take the battery completely out of the equation and just run it straight off solar. And the short answer is, it kind of works, but not in a way I'd call reliable. When there's enough sun, it'll run the load just fine. As soon as the PV drops off though, it falls out, which is exactly what you'd expect. Sometimes it'll recover on its own when the sun comes back. Sometimes it just sits there until you reset it. So it's definitely not something you'd want to depend on without babysitting it. You can tell it's not really designed to be batteryless. It'll run, but once things get marginal, it can get confused. So yeah, this proves you can run a load straight from solar with this thing, but it also shows why most systems use a battery or at least some kind of buffer. The moment the sun drops or a cloud rolls through, everything changes. Another thing I noticed, the inverter's reported wattage doesn't always tell the full story. With an inductive load like the transformer at idle, you can see apparent power that doesn't reflect real power. And I got this 04 error code at one point. Getting the 04 alarm. But everything's still running. 04 is supposed to be I think high PV temperature it said. But that can't be unless a sensor smoked. That's I guess that's a possibility a, a sensor on the um, MPPT charger. But it 
almost seems like it's more of a battery voltage issue. Let's um let's turn off the load. See what happens here. Should be charging. Got 500 watts coming in off the PV right now. Well, I'm not going to sit here and wait for this. What, I, what I'll do, I'll put this on the tripod and keep it running. Alright, I'll keep that running. I gotta go do some stuff. Let's see what happens. There's no load on the inverter right now. And it's charging. Got 500, a little over 500 watts coming in. So let's, let's see if that fault goes away after it charges the battery some. There's no way there can be an over temp because we're only, we're only charging at 500 watts right now. Let's see what happens. Well, it didn't clear itself, huh? All right, same zero four fault. Let's try to restart it. Hmm. A restart cleared the fault. It's weird it didn't hinder anything because it was it was still charging the battery and it still had output. It's just flashing the zero four. But the alarm is gone now. We're at twenty two percent. Fifty two point four volts. Let's see here. 52.2 volts according to the inverter. Let me do this. I'm going to shut the battery off. And I'm going to shut the solar off. And let's turn the battery back on. Let's give it some load without solar being on. Let's drain the battery and see, see what happens. All right, let me set this back up. All right, I'll be back. Well, I heard it. Zero four at fifty point eight volts. All right, turn the load off. Yeah, there's no way it could be an overheating problem. All right. Does require a manual reset though. The manual says it's PV module over temp, but it turns out to be some kind of a low battery error. This was more of a learning experiment than a recommendation. It answers the question, but it also shows why it's not done this way. At some point, we might try a couple different things to see if there's a cleaner way to make this work without turning it into a full battery system. That's it for this one.
hope you got some entertainment value out of it. I appreciate you. And until next time, adios.